Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we will show you if you have a BMW 1 Series. I'm talking about generation E81, E82, E80. 7 e88 guys and you're trying to find if you have a good or bad alternator diode okay how to check the diode guys how to know if it's good or bad we will demonstrate on one alternator that's good one is bad and we will explain guys how to distinguish that now we'll demonstrate on six cylinder engine but even if you have a four cylinder six cylinder gasoline diesel engines the procedure is practically the same uh, quick introduction to the channel guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos specifically on bmws we make more than five 500 videos in most cases guys why we do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information now uh, if you guys need to buy the tester that will be using any parts, tools or new alternator, check out the link, it will be shared in the description of the video below for your convenience. So, specifically, as I said, we have one alternator that's good and one that's bad. So we'll demonstrate what the good, look, uh, what the good alternator looks like and the bad one after that as well. Step number one guys, disconnect the car battery of your BMW 1 series. If you do not know which battery terminal to disconnect first, negative or positive, we have a special video that explains all that. And I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below. Very important video, guys. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's BMW, Ford, Mazda, whatever it is. There is a certain sequence you need to follow so you don't cause damage to the electrical components of your vehicle. After you do that, you need to find where you, the 12 volt charging wire from the alternator goes to the battery. Disconnect that wire. In our case, for that alternator, it's the one right here. We removed it. Now, this is the other alternator. The charging wire is actually on the back side on that good one, but it's the same design, guys. Now, let's explain, guys, how we're going to test it. This is, guys, the voltmeter. If you're on the market for a good voltmeter, guys, consider this one. Nothing sponsored here, but it's amazing, too. We have the diode testing right here. We're going to click select diodes. Okay, perfect. And now, guys, okay, let me show you. No, we just dropped it. Let me show you what we'll be doing here. First, let's put the black lead, okay, on the ground, on the ground, the casing, red lead on the charging wire. And you should get no reading, guys. Okay, just one second, because I cannot show you get perfect. No reading at all, right? Nothing. Let's switch them now. Black lead on the charging wire, red lead on the casing. We should get a reading between 5 and 800 for a good alternator and that's what we do amazing now let's guys test the one that's bad so now guys red on casing black on okay on the charging wire and what do we get 568 amazing now if we reverse them check it out we have a problem guys what's the problem we should get no reading remember and in our case okay let's give it a little bit of a scratch okay perfect we get a reading guys so definitely guys a bad diode right there you shouldn't get reading on one side and you should get only on the other side so hopefully guys you get the idea when you put the uh, red lead on the charging wire black on casing you should get no reading and when you reverse them you should get between five and eight hundred so hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the channel for more help and see you guys next time